what I got out of Teen Chicks Press Corps. Um, I think number one was like connecting with like other young like artists and writers in the area. And then I also learned like a lot about different forms of art that I typically wouldn't see. I think that a lot with the tangible things that obviously you would get out of an arts criticism program like this one, like sentence flow, sentence construction, uh, unclear pronouns, and how to kind of uh, write to a larger audience rather just, than just for yourself. I think I also learned about sort of intangible things, like that there's sort of, there is a community of teens who love arts and writing just as much as I do, and it's the community that I can like go to arts with and I can collaborate with and I can learn from, and from them, instead of being a passive consumer of art, I'm able to openly contribute to the arts community. Through the press corps, I was able to improve my writing skills immensely, but more importantly, I learned how to analyze art and absorb the deeper meaning of what I see. The critical thinking skills I learned in this program have allowed me to get more out of all art I experience. In addition, this program put me in contact with a new nerdy, arts-loving subgroup of teen writers I never knew existed, allowing me to make new, interesting friends that share my interests. Press Corps also let me learn from experienced, respected professionals in the field of arts criticism, which inspired me and greatly improved my writing. The Teen Takes Press Corps helped me not only as a writer, but as a critical thinker. When we were writing our reviews, we had to like, think of like how, like, say, a stage was set or how like, a painting, every single stroke, like, you have to describe it first, mm -hmm. and then you think about the meaning of it rather than just trying to interpret it like, as you're seeing it. For the first time. Also getting to like meet and connect with like like really amazing Seattle artists like Omar Wiley, you know. Mm -hmm. Um and getting his input that like we can't get anywhere else, um, because like our school systems don't like value arts and education as much. Yeah, I think I just think about like everything a little bit differently now. I think I try and like understand things a little bit more or like a little bit differently. A bright gray light illuminates the stage, which is empty except for a tired, sagging tree, two rock-like structures made of carpet, and orange cords hanging from the ceiling. The audience, hushed, waits for 30 seconds. The stage is still. 15 seconds more. Nothing. People start rustling in their seats. Another 15 seconds and an alarm clock starts blaring. Carpets are unrolled. Nerf guns are shot. Patty and the kid has begun. For the first half of the play, uncomfortable silence seems to be the norm. In their post-apocalyptic world, Patty and the kid never speak. Rather, the only soundtrack is the blaring of a CD player, which accompanies the two characters as they jazzercise, eat carrots, and make coffee. 